Hi there, this is Katie for Little Angel Theatre. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your very own little red hen. Now this craft is aimed at five to ten year olds, but it is nice and simple this one, so younger siblings can probably join in too. And of course, grown-ups may also join in. So for this craft, you will need a paper plate or some card cut into a circle. You'll also need something to colour in your little red hen. Now I've used paint, but you could use crayons or colouring pencils or felt tip pens. Whatever you've got to hand is fine. Some googly eyes or paper that you can draw your eyes on, cut them out and stick them onto your hen. I've used coloured card for her beak and extra hen details. And I've also got some feathers just to give her some lovely fluffy feathery texture. You'll also need some scissors and some glue. To get the shape of your hen, take your circle of card or your paper plate and fold it in half. Now I've used the underside of the hen to paint on because on my particular plate it's not as smooth so it takes the paint better. But you can use either side, whichever you prefer. So fold it in half. Now you've made the crease, flatten it out again and now's the time to add your colour. So I'm using paint and I'm using a sponge as well, just to give me some extra texture. So you can still see some of the white plate underneath. I really like this effect because, as I say, it gives it some lovely texture to help it look a bit more feathery. But you can use solid colour with a paintbrush, or as I say, any other colouring materials is fine. So colour in your hen now. <laughs> As your paint is dry, fold your hen back in half because now we're going to start adding her details. First of all, take some coloured card and cut a triangle to make your hen's beak. If you don't have coloured card, just use some yellow packaging from the recycling or colour in some card with any felt tips that you might have to hand. Then with a print stick, add plenty of glue to the end that you want your hen's face to be. So either end doesn't matter. Pick, a, pick an end and pop the glue on the inside of your plate. So here I would use plenty of glue. Stick your beak where you like it and then give it a pinch. Now this is where I like to add the eyes. I find that eyes really start to bring the character to life and it's really good to have them on there as early as possible. So I've got some lovely fun googly eyes with eyelashes and green eyeshadow which I thought was perfect for our little red hen but as I say you could use beads or buttons or you could draw some eyes onto card and cut them out or you could just draw them directly onto your paper plate that's entirely up to you if you're sticking them on just pop extra glue on the top and pop it on and now we want our hen to have an eye on both sides so she is three-dimensional so Flip her over and pop the glue on the other side of her face to stick the other eye on. Now I happen to have a little stash of multicoloured feathers in my craft box, which I thought would be really fun to use for her wings and tail feathers. If you don't have feathers at home, don't panic. You could just draw some feathers on some paper. Maybe you've got some coloured paper that you could do some really pretty feather drawings on and cut them out and stick them on whatever you've got is absolutely fine. So whatever you're using for feathers, decide where you'd like her wings to be, put lots and lots of glue on there and stick them on. Beautiful. Then with her tail feathers, pop the glue on the inside of the plate, arrange your feathers as you'd like them, give it a pinch so it all stays together. And there she has beautiful wings and tail feathers. So she's already coming together. chickens 
comb on top of her head and the wattle underneath her beak, the little red bit that she has under there, I have just used red card. So draw the shape of the comb and the wattle onto your card. If you don't have red card, again, just use whatever you have and colour it in red so that it looks lovely on our chicken. Draw those out. When you're happy with them, cut them out. Then, if you pop some glue under our little red hen's beak, stick the wattle down, and then if you lay out the comb, pop some glue on the bottom bit, so the straight edge, fold it in half, just roughly, and stick it to both sides of the chicken's head above her beak. So there you have it, your beautiful little red hen, ready to go on another adventure. Now with this design, because she's got a curved underside, if you put her on something flat, she will rock and peck at the ground, which is really charming and fun to play with. So maybe you can go and play with your little red hen, reenact the story about her adventures. I really enjoyed making my own little red hen today with you. I hope you have too. I can't wait to see pictures of all your amazing creations. So see you next time. Bye.